Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for March 17th to the 18th of 2024. I just felt the need to do y'all. I just did Aquarius and y'all showed up intuitively in Aquarius. So I felt the need to do y'all next. All right, let's get into it for Leo. Next 48 hours for Leo. March 17th to the 18th of 2024 for Leo. Something about marshmallows. Definitely something to do with marshmallows. Could be marshmallow, like filling elf mischief. <laughs> Someone playing some type of game. Goat potency. It could be a Taurus or an Aries. Taurus, Aries, or Capricorn. Moth caution. Be mindful of a Taurus, Aries, or Capricorn playing games. On the surface, it seems innocent. It's not. Something about dice as well. Especially four. On, on a, a dice or die, as they call it. There's something about it, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries placement, they're not, they're not playing. They act like they're playing, they're not. Do not go towards this person in any form or fashion, whether it's for work, platonic or love, owl wisdom. I feel like, I don't know if you've dealt with this person before or you've dealt with something like this before, but you have some wisdom on the situation, making my arm itch a little bit. Stay the hell away from this person, Leo. They are not to be trusted in any form. Ooh, and their eyes are like glowing. And I don't care what color they are. Their eyes are glowing. And it's not in a healthy... And then... I don't know if y'all heard that, but sirens just went off. And it's late where I'm at. Let me, where's my phone at? My other phone. So I can show y'all what time it is. Sirens just went off around here, and it is 1.50 a.m., about to be 2 a.m., and sirens just blared past here. 20 truth. Three, rejoice in celebration. You saying the truth about this person. I feel like you're going to be celebrating in the next 48. Throat chakra. Five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine, fulfillment of wishes. In the next 48 hours, you're going to be celebrating. Like, this person can't do nothing to you. You're protected, Leo. Let me just say that. This person can't do anything to you. You're protected. They're just telling you, don't go into business with this person. Don't lock in with this person in any way. Like, in the next 48, you're going to be celebrating. Something about truth and throat chakra. You, you've been speaking your truth. And that's why things are growing rapidly from you. The more you speak your truth, the more things are going to grow for you. Now, I'm not saying go and tell your business everywhere because that could hinder you. But I mean speaking your truth like in a way where you're not holding your tongue when it comes to certain things. But don't go, you know, telling your business. But I see you speaking your, because you've been speaking your truth. And not holding your tongue in certain situations. You're celebrating in the next 40 years. You're celebrating something because you have rejoice and celebration right here. And you have fulfillment of wishes as your overall energy. So congratulations on whatever this is. You're celebrating something in the next 48. And I feel like when this person try to come to you, it's just without even thinking, it's just going to come out of your mouth. Whatever, because you can read this person to fill. It, and it's, it's not going to be something you can control. So I'm letting you know, when it comes to this person and they try to like talk to you, this is someone who's going to irritate your soul because it's going to be someone who's trying to like lie in your face, act like they're happy for you. And you're not even going to think about it when it comes out. So that's how you know it's not just you talking. Like this person's going to be like, oh, congratulations, Leo. You're going to be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, and it's not even, that could not even be you. Like some of you don't even talk like that. But all of a sudden... You're going to be like, you're going to hurt this person's feelings. You're like, hold up. Where did that come from? That's your spirit. <laughs> Reading this person for what they are, Leo. You're going to tell this person to shut the fuck up real quick. And that might not even be you. Like You don't even speak like that for some of you. Four swords. Yeah, you block. Mm-mm. You're not playing with this person. Four of swords and six of swords. You done blocked this person out mentally. Some of you, like your tongue literally goes like, mm, 
You go mute and you turn your back. You're not even looking at this person. Knight of Cups. But here, this person trying to get your favor. Knight of Cups. An apology. Three of Cups. Because this person wants to reconcile. This person's going to try to reconcile while you're celebrating because you literally have. Hopefully, none of y'all fall. Thank you. You have Rejoice and Celebration with the Three, which is literally Three Cups. Three of Cups. And then it's kind of a four because you see that chalice in the back, like someone missed an opportunity. And you have the three cups here. You're about to rejoice in celebration. You're about to be celebrating. I don't know if you're getting some type of, of reward for something. And then overall energy is literally the eight of cups, walking away. So you could be celebrating, walking away from a chapter in your life or a job, person, place, thing, habit, pattern. You're celebrating that. And you have the queen. I cut the deck and see the queen of wands, which is you being confident. This is you, Leo. And then um, it doesn't matter what your gender is. I see you. We all have masculine and feminine energies. I see you being in a receptive energy at this time. I feel like you could have daisies or something about daisies or sunflowers. You know, the Nine of Pentacles, independence, stability, with fulfillment of wishes here. After walking away from something. And I feel like this is this person may have recently tried to apologize or something like that. And you just blocked them out and said, no, you didn't let the situation go. You're not holding no grudges. Six of Swords, whoever you blocked, Four of Swords, or you blocked it out, you've been resting and recovering, you've let it go, Six of Swords. Because four, four of Swords is followed by the Six of Swords. You let it go. So it's not like you you have anything against this person. You're just like, oh, I'm good off that. Clarify. For Leo, you're just done. And, and then, I don't know what you're celebrating in the next 48, but congratulations, Leo. I'm happy for you. You know, I want to write that down. I am so happy for you. You're about to celebrate something. And I'm happy for you. Just be mindful. Like, I mean, I ain't going to say be mindful because you don't have nothing to worry about. But it's just like certain people are going to try to come around or come back around because they see you celebrating. Clarify the four of swords, the knight of pentacles. Yeah, because you've been working your ass off. Ten of wands. You probably ain't have no breaks, no rest. And now you're about to be able to rest because you had a lot of, on your plate. Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. You've been working your ass off, taking care of. I see you knocking down every wand because you've been working. Clarifying the Six of Swords, it's a tower. If there was a tower moment, you've let that go. Like I said, Tower, Aries, Five of Pentacles. Maybe you had to do everything alone after this tower moment. A tower moment could have came in the past. I feel like it was in the past. A tower moment came where you had to do everything by yourself. Or start all over or do it again. You had a lot on your plate. You had to do it all on your own. And you let that part of your life go. You've completed that part. I cut the deck on in this deck and see the Nine of Pentacles for you. So I cut the deck in this deck and saw the Nine of Pentacles and in this one. Now you have all and clarifying the Knight of Cups, an author. So I'm seeing it two ways. You have a person from your past offering you an illusion of an apology and reconciliation. It's an illusion. And then you have another offer here. And I'm seeing both of them for you. I'm seeing another offer where you have a bunch of options being offered to you. A bunch of different avenues and ways for you. So you have a lot of great opportunities coming towards you. And then you have this illusion as person of charity. You're going to move forward. Love to see it. Cancer. And then we have, I see the Seven of Cups as Pisces. And we have Cancer here. We have Aries here. Clarifying the three cups of the high priestess, Pisces. You're extremely intuitive. You are extremely intuitive, Leo. Three cups. How many times you going to three cups, like celebrating? <laughs> three cups, clarifying the three cups with three rejoice and celebration. The lovers, Gemini, the choice. You're definitely going to be celebrating. You're, gonna, you're choosing to walk away. In the next 48 hours, someone is going to try to give you an offer. It's a, it's an illusion. It's manipulation. You're going to choose to walk away and you're going to be celebrating something new. Literally. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.